Happy birthday, happy birthday, have a happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. I have officially have peaked. I was 35 last month, and if the Bible is to be trusted, and surely if we can agree on anything, it's that the Bible is utterly infallible in every way, that means I'm halfway through my allotted span of three score years and ten. I'm not over the hill, but I can pack away the alpenstock and get out the sledge. And that mention of over the hill brings me to the main text for today's sermon. I like dark comedy. I really do. I think it's noble and necessary, and most of all, I think it's funny. But I'm rather used to being in a fringe minority in this taste, and so I'm surprised to find there's still one area of life where black humour appears to have enormous, unremarked-upon mainstream currency. Birthday cards for the old. I mean, they're so bleak. I can understand the straightforward ha-ha your old ones about flaming birthday cakes and remembering the dinosaurs. They fit straight into the British tradition of ripping the piss out of each other about things we can't help as an expression of affection. But the ones I'm talking about are the ones that seem straightforwardly intended as reminders of one's imminent decline and death. You know you're over the hill when everything hurts, and what doesn't hurt doesn't work, they chortle. Who buys that to send to whom? That's not a birthday card, it's a potted Beckett play. And accompanying it with an illustration of a grumpy tortoise doesn't entirely take away the sting. Maybe it's not supposed to. Maybe it's intended as a memento mori, the equivalent of the Roman slave whispering in the ear of the triumphant general, remember you are a man. Well, if so, two things. Firstly, piss off, Roman slave. I promise you I can remember my mortal status without your help. My back's killing me for a start. Secondly, if that's the case, why are there not more glad to hear about your terminal illness cards on the market? Surely that's only the logical extension of this policy? Congratulations on your leukaemia. Delighted to hear that the shine off your bald pate and creak of your aged bones will soon only be an irritating memory. For thankfully, you're soon to be buried, you sod. But I suppose it's the very fact that it's not you saying it, that it's a company with access to professional printing equipment and skilled grumpy tortoise illustrators, that legitimises it as a joke. Oh, it's okay to mention you're closer to death than I am, is it? It must be, if these guys have printed it up and are looking for £2.50 for it. Great, then listen up. You're no longer living as fully as I am. You've peaked, and life will never be the same again. It will only be increasingly worse, and then over. Many happy returns. No offence. <laughs>